political candidate for Congress is demanding TV stations take down a negative ad against him. He claims the ad is false. KSNT News reporter Raina Garcia looks into both sides of the issue. The Congressional Leadership Fund has been accused of running a false ad about Kansas 2nd District Congressional candidate Paul Davis. The ad links Davis to California Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, claiming their voting patterns and positions are almost identical. Paul Davis is a vote for Nancy Pelosi. That's too risky. I came to Davis's law firm in Lawrence to talk with him about his concerns over the ad and why he wants it taken off the air. I think that we need to hold people accountable. And uh, if you want to say something in an ad, you need to have a factual basis for it. And they simply just don't have a factual uh, basis. The Congressional Leadership Fund, a pro Republican group that paid for the ad, the is fighting back, Washington. saying the ad Davis only informs voters, voters of the similarities between the two. Taxes. President of the Kansas Association of Broadcasters says while candidates can ask stations to take ads down, the stations have the final say. As a station, you look at it and decide is there something that is so in air or so non factual that it could cause defamation or something like that. Robert Raff, who operates three TV stations in Topeka, says these types of requests are common during election season. And essentially we just do due diligence to find out, you know, whether something is, is factual, whether something is, is blatantly incorrect, um, and then we make a call based on that. In this case, Raff says the Republican group is stating an opinion and has produced documents to back it up, so the ad will stay. In Topeka, Raina Garcia, KSNT News.